How's it going everyone? After seemingly, what, a year of waiting, the Fallout 4 free next-gen console upgrade has been detailed and it will be coming out very, very soon. Let's talk all about it. We've got PlayStation updates, Xbox updates, PC updates, content updates, so much to get into, so let's cover it. And uh, this has been a long time coming. I believe that we were supposed to get this content last year, but then it got delayed. Now, the question remains, and I am interested about this, is this going to pull a Witcher 3 and get, like, an artificial price increase? If you guys don't remember, when Witcher 3 came out with that next-gen upgrade, like, the price point of the game got increased. Like, the discounted price was $10 for a while, then it got up to... $30 discounted, which was like kind of crazy. Now it's calmed down, um, but the price point still isn't where it used to be when you could get the game on sale for $10. The Game of the Year Edition is not on sale on Steam right now. I'm trying to see if it's on sale on the PlayStation Store because PlayStation Store is running their spring sale. Fallout 4 is on sale. The base game is $4.99. Game of the Year Edition not on sale. So I find that kind of interesting. They don't have the bundle with Skyrim Anniversary on sale either. So we'll see if this is ultimately the route they go in giving the game an artificial price increase because again, that happened with Witcher 3. But nonetheless, a lot of you guys already own the game. I'll talk a little bit about my thoughts on the game, but these updates are coming on April the 25th, so right around the corner. Fallout 4 upgrades are coming to next-gen consoles, but Bethesda Game Studios is releasing a free Fallout 4 update for download on Xbox Series X and S and PlayStation 5. This free update includes native applications for PS5 and Xbox Series X and S performance mode and quality mode, as well as stability improvements and fixes, experience up to 60 FPS and increased resolution. So it's gonna be a, um, you know, you're gonna get one or the other. You get, it doesn't look like you'll be able to play this game on 4k and 60 fps that's kind of the reality with um next gen upgrades like the majority of next gen upgrades don't feature 4k 60 fps there's titles like dmc5 which are special cases where that game was already running really well um but if you look at fallout 4 you look at witcher 3 you look at some of the cross-gen releases like a horizon forbidden west the god of war ragnarok none of those games have uh you know a graphics mode that's 4k and 60 fps it's usually either or and, uh, you know, that is just the reality. 4K 60 FPS, even on last-gen games, is really difficult to do. That's why when people were talking about 8K 60 FPS, guys, I swear, my PS5, my $400 box can run 8K 60 FPS. It's just like, come on, bro. Yeah, maybe Tetris. If you like Tetris that much, and not even Tetris Effect, just regular Tetris, yeah, you'll do 8K 60 FPS. But... And nevertheless, that is once again showcased here. But uh, yeah, Fallout 4, as far as the upgrade goes, stability improvements is probably the most exciting thing given that the game has a lot of issues, not only on consoles, but on PC as well. It's a Bethesda open world game. You guys know uh, how that uh, story goes. Updates for PC players include, we are also releasing a free Fallout 4 update for PC players. Experience Fallout 4 on your next generation PC with widescreen and ultra widescreen support, as well as fixes to creation kit and a variety of quest updates. Players with PC versions of Fallout 4 on Steam, Microsoft Store and GOG will receive stability mods and bug fixes for Japanese and Chinese language players on PC, but Bethesda.net login issues have been resolved as well, fixing access to mods. Alongside this exciting update, Fallout 4 will be available to purchase for the two of you that want to buy the game on the Epic Game Store, and it will be Steam Deck verified, obviously the two people that want to buy it on the Epic Game Store. That is uh, commentary by me. Of course, Bethesda is not saying that. Even more content. There's even more content in Fallout 4 updates, including the following free Creation Club items. Enclave Remnants. Enclave Remnants brings the pre-war cabal, the Enclave, into the Fallout 4 storyline. In this new quest, Echoes of the Past, you can stop the Enclave from spreading their dangerous, uh, dangerous ideology and gaining a foothold in the Commonwealth. Along with workshop items and the Enclave Colonel uniform, we are including the following previously release creation club content enclave weapon skins enclave armor skins tesla cannon hellfire power armor xo2 power armor and the heavy incinerator they show some images of all that You've also got the makeshift weapon pack. Ever thought a piggy bank would make a great weapon in a pinch? This weapon pack includes a variety of unconventional objects that have been transformed into deadly weapons, such as a baseball launcher, a nail gun, and a piggy bank. All of that will be available. You've got a Halloween workshop left over from an ill-fated Halloween party thrown by the New England Technocrat Society. These 38 new Halloween decorations include witches, cauldrons, ghouls, and more. Decorate for Halloween or make your settlement spooky all year round. And all that is coming to Fallout 4 on April the 25th. Nice to see this free upgrade finally come out. Now, let's talk about 
my thoughts on Fallout 4. I've talked about this game a lot. I mean, I was I was pretty sure I was making preview videos of this game a decade ago when it was coming out. 2015, fall of 2015. And uh, Fallout 4 is a game that was the victim of just insane hype. Not to say that the game was, um, was an amazing title, but there was an absurd amount of hype attached to Fallout 4. Bethesda back prior to the release of Fallout 4 isn't the Bethesda of today. These days, we have our skepticism attached to Bethesda with, um, you know, the fumbled launch of Elder Scrolls Online, Starfield not being that amazing, and Fallout 4 ultimately being a bit of disappointment. But guys, Take yourself back to 2015, if you were playing games ahead of Fallout 4. Bethesda was coming off the releases of Fallout 3 and The Elder Scrolls V Skyrim. Not to mention, while it wasn't a Bethesda-developed title, Fallout New Vegas kinda had that Bethesda allure attached to it as well, and that game was incredibly well-received as well. But you're talking Fallout 3 and Elder Scrolls V Skyrim back-to-back -back releases? That was Bethesda at their perceived absolute peak. Fallout 3 was an incredibly well-received game. Elder Scrolls V Skyrim is one of the most iconic video games of all time, so you're talking about that, and you're leading into the release of Fallout 4. Obviously, this game was going to have a gargantuan level of hype, a gargantuan level of anticipation, and ultimately, how they handled the announcement of the game I thought was fantastically done. You see so many games these days, and Bethesda, by the way, you guys are absolute culprits of this, announcing games seven years before release, eight years before release. They did this with Elder Scrolls 6, they somewhat did this with Starfield. I mean, Starfield was announced, what, five years ahead of release, six years ahead of release? It's just absolutely egregious. You wanna know what was the wait time for Fallout 4? Was it a year? Was it nine months? No, it was six months. It was announced at like the end of May and then came out in the beginning of November. I wish a lot more studios would take notes from that because I feel like that only uh, heightened the level of anticipation from that game. I get it, this is something that's in the grand scheme of things a very small uh, thing to complain about, but you know, I thought they handled the release uh, or the promotion of the game really, really well. Ultimately, when the game came out, it had a lot of issues and it wasn't as good as Fallout 3 or Skyrim, let's be real. But I still enjoyed the game. I still thought Fallout 4 was a relatively good time the whole way through, and it's a worthwhile game to go through. Uh, most of you guys have it in your library, so it's just going to be a significant free update. Again, if you can find it on sale, I would say try to pick it up because I could see this going the Witcher 3 route of having its price appreciate because of, uh, you know, the game getting an upgrade that's happened in the past, but it is going to be free content rollout, free update, and upgrade on next-gen consoles, and updates for PC players rolling out as well. Excited about it. I don't know when I'm going to revisit Fallout 4, probably not anytime in the near future with all the games coming out, although uh, as we're getting closer to the summer, it is going to be a little bit of a quiet period, so it might actually be a decent time to check it back out. But that'll be doing it for me. Again, Fallout 4 is one of those games that I know not everybody loves, but it is a decent RPG, and to see it uh, come out on next-gen consoles and PC, getting better performance and whatnot, uh, that is going to be exciting. And content updates as well. Good stuff all around. That'll do it for me. Sound off with all of your thoughts in the comment section down below. Thank you for watching and goodbye. Hey guys, we hope you enjoyed the video and if you did, make sure to hit the subscribe button and if you're already subscribed, do us a favor and hit the bell icon. This way you'll be notified whenever we post a new video. That's the best way to keep up with all of our uploads and we usually try to upload two videos a day. And with the bell icon hit, you'll be notified whenever we do upload a video. As always, thanks for watching.